Today we're out here looking at the HK VP9. This is a striker fired weapon from HK. Uh, HK pioneered uh, striker fired pistols uh, many years ago. Uh, the VP70, which is also the first polymer frame pistol that was successful. It uh, predated the Glock by about at least a decade. But anyway, that was a good pistol. Their P7 was a striker fired pistol. But this is a different design and it's a uh, brand new, just come out now from HK. It's smaller. Uh, than most HKs. You know, most of their fighting weapons are pretty blocky. This one is not. It's about the size of a Smith & Wesson M&P and it's got some good features on it that uh, I really like. Uh, one, it comes with two of these 15 round magazines. Now, if you live somewhere where uh, you're not allowed a 15 round magazine where they babysit you too much, you, know, you can also get it with 10 round mag if they allow you to have that. Uh, it's got some interesting features on it. One, like a lot of pistols today, you can uh, configure the grip to fix your hand. This comes with three different back straps in this hard case here and it also has side panels. You change them out separately. It comes with different side panels of different thicknesses that slide off there. <clears throat> After you knock this pin out, take your back strap off. But you can, you can make it fix your hand that way. It's got finger grooves in the front which is really comfortable. Uh, the uh, magazine release on it is uh, ambidextrous and it pushes down which I really like. You know, a lot of times, a um, magazine release that pushes in, they tend to get bumped sometimes, and your magazine not fully seated when it needs to be. One like this is not going to get bumped off in your holster if you bump up against something. And with extras, you can use your trigger finger on it, you can use your thumb on it. Either way, will drop that mag, and you don't have to uh, change your grip on the hand. Got an ambid extra, so slide lock release on here. Slide locks back on the last round, of course, and you can close it. From either side if you use that. I prefer to grab the slide and pull it back. Sometimes you need to do it one-handed and it's got that uh, slide lock release right there. It's got really good trigger pull on this. Uh, the, uh, it has to be a, the slide has to pre-cock the striker on this but it comes in about four and a quarter pounds which is better than just about anything on the market right now. I know of a, another pistol that's coming out that's also going to have a great trigger pull on it but we can't talk about that right now. But for now this is an excellent smooth trigger pull on its HK. It's not very far travel. It breaks pretty crisp after you uh, get through the take up on it. It's got a Picatinny spec rail on it. It's not just a, an accessory rail. It is Picatinny spec. So anything will fit a Picatinny you can bolt on there, a laser or a white light, whatever you need. It comes with two of these mags in this hard case. One thing that they did on this that I really like that I don't know why nobody's thought of it before. It's got these uh, little ears here on the back of the slide which helps it helps pull a slide back to rack your first cartridge in there. A lot of people like the hand strength to do it uh, like this. But even if you're pushing your hand over the top, this is a real good way. It really assists on pushing that slide back without having to grip the slide too tightly. A lot of people's got weak hands uh, and uh, just can't do it from arthritis or whatever the reason. This really helps and that helps you to pull that slide back. And if you don't like them, they're removable. They slide right out, push your side over a little, slide this one out, push it back, slide this one out. Both sights are adjustable for windage correction. They got white dock sights on them and the sights are made out of steel, which I really like. Some pistols like this on the market, they got plastic sights. This got real steel sights on it. Real nice weapons, real, real tightly fitted. Your, uh, the barrel to the slide fits real tight. Slide to the frame fits real tight. There's no play in it, uh, which contributes to it being a very accurate pistol. Also easy to fire accurately, thanks to that uh, good trigger pull on it. But it fixed my hand really well, it handles recoil really well. Six low in the hand, so it's not, not jumping as much when you fire it. And uh, it's got a, a little over four inch barrel on it. It's uh, a nice lightweight pistol. Uh, we'll have a weight and spec charts, everything you need to read about that. The price on this is a lot less than I expect on the HK. Most HK pistols are priced up near the top because people will pay that and they're worth it. But this one got an MSRP of $719 on it. With the standard sights, it's about $100 more if you opt for the night sights on it. It's available now. Just went into production. It's available. Uh, you can check it out at uh, hk-usa.com or hecklerandcoach.com. Check it out and uh, have a look at it. If you want to order one online, you can go to um, Gallery of Guns, click on their Gun Genie, and order this online. You'll get bigs from dealers around you that will give you the best price. They'll compete with each other sell you the weapon. If you want to find an HK dealer near you, go to lipsies.com, check on their dealer finder. Anyway, we're going to shoot it a little bit, demonstrate how it runs. Really nice, smooth shooting weapon, and it's available from HK.
Thank you. <laughs>